Good evening, boys and girls. R Wrangler here, and this is going to be our third edition or episode into the Trailer Park Barbie that is the Sean Paul Reyes Groupie. And wow, it's this one is going to pick up exactly where we left off off uh, after part one. And she's wow she's something else i mean wow enjoy guys all right now i'm gonna call when they open and see what the hell the deal is with that so first of all to the district attorney of new york city police department i don't run so i will be there on a sunday yeah we know you don't run ray as it's kind of hard to do in a man girdle and a car bra on april 23rd 2023 at 9 a.m you can count on that. We the people don't run in the face of tyranny. We will be there. We face it head on. I'll be there too. I'm going to be at that court date. On. So, I have to be there. I have to bring a photo ID. I have to sign right here. As you can see, this happened. I'll bring a photo ID, but I'm pretty sure they're going to know exactly who I am by then. Giovanni, courtship met. They're going to know exactly who I am by then, but I'll bring my ID. Third. So, 20 days later is my court date. Um, it's in the county of Brooklyn. The part EAT. Here, Reyes Jean Paul refused. They wanted all my information, like cell phone number, home number. No, I'm not giving you any of that. So, here we go. We have the command right here. Kakuza Giovanni is the officer that arrested me, the tyrant officer at the command of Sergeant Corchimet Tosaris. I believe Tor Torsaris is his uh, first name. I want to make sure he's right. I tried to explain to them, and here, right here, is just the, the invoice. Before I even talk about that. So as I'm sitting in the cell for six hours, they must have figured out who... Six hours for filming where you're allowed to film. Like, oh my God. Who I was, right? Ladies and gentlemen, they figured it out. They uh, must have Googled me. I don't know what they did, but they figured out who I was pretty quickly. And it went from them treating me like utter and complete garbage to the sergeant and officer Kakuza coming inside the holding cell without body cameras, mind you, saying, hey, why did we have to go down this path, man? Why'd you have to do this? Why'd you have to get arrested? You're not going to change any policy here. What are you trying to do? It didn't have to go like this. I don't want to have to arrest you. I'm trying to play like... They always try to play the nice guy once they realize that Sean has an audience, and that is ridiculous. They should not be... I'm the latest hashtag challenge. And everyone on social media is trying me. I'm trending so hard that hashtag common sense can't keep up. This is going to get... And that is ridiculous. They should not be treating people differently based on whether or not people listen to them on YouTube. That is ridiculous. The good cop and the good sergeant now, after you just placed the handcuffs on so tight, cut off my circulation and took my freedom away from me for six hours... They're trying to like, hey, make buddy buddy talk. I didn't want to talk to them. I said, hey, nope. listen, I'm exercising my Fifth Amendment right. I don't want to talk anymore. You know, you guys. Actually, just not to put too fine a point on it, there, there, Sean Paul. Um, the Fifth Amendment affords you the right to not incriminate yourself. So, I mean, not to put too fine a point on it, but they weren't interrogating you. So, why would you, why would you invoke the Fifth Amendment if you're not being interrogated for an open criminal? case i don't i don't get it but then again i graduated high school didn't go to prison and graduated from college so maybe you should try that that stuff this is our policy this is what they said ladies and gentlemen law enforcement officers this is our policy here you were arrested because you broke our policy that's what they said and then that is so stupid and while we're... no 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 you were arrested because you wouldn't adhere to the policy in the building. You were given many, 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 many chances to leave on your own power and with your own freedom. You chose to not do that. So you were arrested for the crime that you committed, and that was criminal trespass. After all of these frauds and all the money you've scammed from the dumbasses that follow you, how do you still not get this? Or is it that you do get it, but you're going to keep playing stupid for clicks and views? Because if there's no confrontation, if there's no, you know, if there's no excitement, then there's no views. Is that, is that pretty close to it there, Shawnee? We're at it. Let me just show this to y'all. So we'll get into this trespass statute. Like, this is the one they actually ended up putting on the desk. 
appearance ticket. But I want to show y'all this real quick. Here's a New York City law, a law in New York City. It's section 14 hyphen. 189 and it is the right to record police activities officer means any police officer so that applies to corsachet and kakuza police activities mean any activity of an officer acting under the color of law record means to wrong 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 you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong. Attempt to capture any moving or still image. Right to record police activities. Here's the law right here, y'all. A person, that means Sean, anyone really, right? But a person may record police activities and maintain custody and control of any such recording and of any property or instruments used in such recording. Nothing in this chapter shall be construed to permit a person to engage in actions that physically interfere with any official or lawful police function or to prevent the seizure of any property in a recording of police activities where the seizure is otherwise authorized by law or to prohibit any officer from enforcing any other provision. So you have the right. Okay, I'm going to stop there and comment. Yes, you have the right to record police activity in the course of their duties on the street inside a police precinct does not count because the police precinct is not an unlimited public forum the street any street in new york that is a public street is a public forum provided that you are on sidewalks and not standing in the middle of the street disrupting traffic flow I mean, I, you graduated from law school, and that's the best you can do? I mean, was it like an actual accredited law school, or was it Chili's fucking clown college program? To record the police, unless you are interfering with official lawful police functions. And look at this. There is a private right of action. A claim of unlawful interference with recording police activities is established under this section when an individual, that means Sean, demonstrates that he or she recorded or attempted to record police activities in accordance with subdivision B. That's the one we just read. And an officer, that would be Corchet Met and Kakuzo, interfered with the recording of the police activities. That includes the following actions, preventing or attempting to prevent recording, which is definitely what they did, threatening or making any effort to intimidate a person, recording the police activities, which is certainly what they did, stopping, seizing, searching, issuing a summons, or arresting an individual because they recorded the police activities or seizing the property or instruments. Literally, you can sue the police. It is a that's that's covered in the constitution guys it is and secondly he wasn't on the street recording the police abusing a citizen he was in the precinct where he's not allowed he's not allowed in there for a lot of reasons that i thought someone with a freaking juris doctorate would understand but i'll say it again i believe because it's the truth and it's real that it is far more important for the police in their building that they have discretion on what areas are restricted, why, and to what degree. I am way more concerned about a, call it an underage sex abuse victim being able to get the help that he or she would need without someone like you trying to make clickbait out of it. The laws support the police in this. They told him to stop recording, he didn't. He told him to leave, he didn't. They told him to put his hands behind his back, cause he did, because he's a bitch. Because the only thing about this that he believes in is the clickbait that keeps him fat and in a man girdle. It is a right of action under this statute to sue them 
for all of the things they did to Sean. We'll get to that more in a minute. Let's see what else he had to say. Was, as you can see here, I was charged with offense charged is PL 140.05. That's a criminal trespassing. Excuse me. So, so but they were like, oh, it didn't have to. They are so stupid. To go this way, you know. It didn't have to go this way. That's for damn sure. Well, it didn't have to be this way. You know, it, this is, didn't have to all happen. Now they're being all nice to me because they know that the power of we the people, we the people united are. You know what? Hey, you know what? Aside from the fact that I believe you're starting to have terminal mental results from the course of your blonde hair and black roots. But you need to ease off the hair dye and the tanning bed, honey, because you, you're just, I mean, you, you've now, maybe you did graduate law school, maybe you didn't. But I'm under the impression that because of the excessive hair bleach and tanning beds that you have an IQ somewhere south of Forrest Gump's. Period. You're an idiot. You actually believe this clown. Y'all could just go ahead and drop these charges. Then none, none of this does have to happen. You're right. If y'all drop these charges, none of this has to proceed, and it didn't have to happen. I still think that, based on the statute that I just read, Sean has a private right of action to sue y'all, but you definitely should drop these charges. Strong. I, I sat in that cell. Officers were passing by and everything. Why do you look so happy? I'm happy because I get to create change. I get to create change. What do you mean by create change? Is it like when you went to pay your fine in Danbury? You mean like change? When you, even though you don't show it on the video in Danbury, when you dumped what, $60, $70, whatever the fine was, didn't you dump that amount in change all over the counter? And what did they do? What did they do? They made you take that shit to a coin star, didn't they, fat boy? But I think we're going to be done with this, guys, for, for this one, because she's she, driving me nuts. And by the way, Miss That Surprise Witness. If you're going to live in a city with that many people from different countries of origin for their family names, you might want to learn how to pronounce it properly because that shows respect. The way you, that you mock their names and their heritage is extremely racist and disrespectful. And I'd say you ought to be ashamed of yourself, but then again, I'm looking at your room behind you and I guess that you know you're still living with mommy and daddy so that's that's your problem guys this is wrangler and i love y'all i'll holler at y'all later